Hello all, hope you are all doing good. Today we'll discuss a second part of memory mapping. So if you haven't watched the part one, please go ahead and watch uh, the part one of memory mapping and then uh, watch the part two. So yeah, let's get started. So what we have seen in the part one is uh, what is memory mapping and why is it needed? The use cases of memory mapping. And in this session, we will discuss how it is done. Okay, so how, how do you understand memory mapping concept? And if required, how you can do the memory mapping? All right, so let's briefly uh, see what we are going to discuss in this session. So basically the memory map files, the memmap.h file or the msn underscore memmap.h, the module short name. So maybe voice memmap.h or form memmap.h. So those are the examples for msn underscore memmap.h. Assign the preprocessor directives defined in source and header files to compiler specific keywords and linker directives. The linker directives are mapped to memory sections of the microcontroller in linker file. Right? So the basically the memory map files will map the preprocessor directives defined in the source and header files to compiler specific keywords and linker directives. And linker directives are the ones that are uh, uh, reason for allocating the sections to a particular memory right so let's see this uh, with uh, an example i'll switch to notepad plus plus so here whenever you are discussing uh, memory mapping right so there are three types of files that are important or that we have to consider one is the source files be it dot c file or dot h file and another one is memmap dot h file and the linker file so these are the three files that we have to uh, refer to to understand the memory mapping concept right so you you would have seen multiple uh, .c files right so each module has so many .c files and so many header files and if you go and check the .c files and head .h files you will see so many variables so many constants so many functions defined and declared right so most of the times you see the constant variables that are declared defined and then the functions and the variables in the source files right so now let's take an example of this piece of code here so what it says com start section right below that there is my map dot h file below that there is a constant defined and below that there is a stop section and below that my map dot h file so if you take any autosar code you will find this kind of uh, coding right so this is a constant arm underscore number number of ipd groups we is defined to 10 and it is defined between two pair of sections one is start section another one is stop section below this start and stop section there is memmap dot h file included and between all this, there is a constant defined. So for example, what happens? So when this dot C file is pre-processed, right? So it will see this com start section hash defined and below that there is memmap.h file. So the preprocessor goes into memmap.h file from this point and tries to parse the memmap file to find where this as defined has been defined right so it will it will come to this point and say hash else if defined um, start sec to end if right so the, the preprocessor undefines this section and places this piece of code in place of start section Similarly, it also finds the stop section and replaces the stop section with default memory, right? So once this pre-processing is done, how the code will look like? Once the start and stop sections are replaced by hash pragma, the result will be like this, hash pragma, GHS section, or data, whatever is defined in memmap.h file, this for this start and stop section. So this will be the resultant piece of code. 
All right. Now let's go back to this memmap.h. So here, what, what is being done here? Right. So this is the hash pragma GHS section RO data com config underscore const underscore eight. Right. So we have discussed in part one that if you want to keep the constants in a in the memory, that memory should be part of RO data. Right. So all the constants that are declared under this start section will be placed in RO data. And to place this, this hash pragma GHS section will help to, to allocate to allocate the constants into this particular location, which is called a linker directive, right? So the variables or the constants that are under this section will be placed, placed into RO data using this hash pragma under this linker directive, right? So this hash pragma GHS section is a GHS compiler specific uh, notation, right? And RO data is uh, a read only data, which is indication of constant memory. And this is a linker directive. So what is the linker directive? Now, till now we have seen how the constants declared or defined in the .c file are mapped to RO data through a compiler directive, through a compiler preprocessor hash prime. And now, this linker directive is the one responsible for allocating to a particular memory in the controller, right? So now we can see this is the linker file. You can see the linker directive. Similar to this config constant, you also have other linker directives here. So these are all the linker directives. This is the linker file. And you can see there is a memory section defined here. This linker file is uh, specific to GHS and this is just for an example. So from project to project, this will definitely wear, uh, vary and it will uh, depend on how many sections that you have and how many sections you want to define in the linker file, right? So you have this IROM, which is indication of the ROM. Origin is 0x00, which is of size 150K. And you also have RAM, which is a RAM origin, which is starting at this location and is of size 70K. And now when you come here under the sections, so there are so many dot int vector, dot int vector underscore end dot or was it data. So these are all the linker directives. When you say dot int vector using the symbol point to IROM, so this int vector will be placed under 0x00 location. So similarly, ROZ data will be at the end of int vector underscore end and RO base will start at the end of ROZ data and so on. So similarly, this com underscore config underscore const 8 will be placed at the end of com code. So starting from this location IROM, based on the code or the constants that are defined under these sections, the memory will keep incrementing from IROM and when it comes to this config underscore const underscore eight, so it will have a particular memory at which all the constants defined under section will be placed, right? Similarly, the RAM sections. So we have that data dot BSS, all these sections will be placed at IRAM, okay? So for example, if you want to place a constant at a specific location, say 0x000, 000, 1000. Then what you can do is you can define your own section here. Say my 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 ROM origin at 0x 1000, length say 1k, right? And then you can assign that my RAM or my ROM here so that my ROM the the constant under this config constant will be placed under my ROM section. So this you can verify once the dot map file of the project is built. Okay. So this is how it works. So you can uh, map the sections, the ROM, and you can map the sections 
to the IRAM if you don't want the memory to be placed at the consecutive locations or at the end of another section you can always point to uh, you can always define your own section and point it to that location okay so this is how the relation between the source file or the .c file the memmap file and the linker file will make the code and the variables sit in the specific regions of memory right so we will go ahead and see some other sections as well so this is about score where cleared right this also has one start one stop section and there is an unsigned into eight variable declared but it is not initialized right so we are saying the section name is it's just a, a convention that you use these names cleared underscore eight right so to indicate this underscore eight section holds a unsigned eight type variables right now clear section so what does this clear section mean so it means that the variables under this section will be reset to zero or cleared after every reset that's why they are set cleared section so when the implementer the de developer uses these variables under this section he knows that this variable will be will have to be kept in the clear section and this all these variables are uh, reset to zero right so you check this start config set this is pointing to bss because this is a variable it goes into bss section and this is uninitialized so it goes to bss and you have a linker directive and this linker directive as bss is part of ram section this linker directive has to go into IRAM and we want it to be cleared so there is this keyword clear that has to be used so that compiler will know that all the variables under this section has to go clear section right similarly we will see no in it underscore 60 this is the start section there is a unsigned in 16 variable declared what does this no init means no init means this variable will not have any valid value after reset so the developer has to make sure that this variable is assigned or initialized to a proper value before that is being used in the code right so now let's go and check this start section here this is no init this is a variable so that goes into bss section that BSS section has to point to IRA because this is a variable. And then you have a start set code. This is a function. As this is a function, this has to go to text section of the memory. Right? Start set code. Let's search for this macro in the memmap.h. So it is assigned to text section. The linker directive is common underscore code. Search for this one here. This is part of IROM. Right? And then we will see start set data underscore eight. We have a variable common score read status, which is of unsigned integer type, and it is initialized. So the initialized variables going to which section they go into dot data right so let's take this macro and search in map dot h so the section is dot data and the linker directive is common score data underscore eight as this is a data section it should be based in ira all right so yes so this is the simple example that I wanted to uh, explain so that uh, whoever is working on AutoSub projects can understand what actually memory mapping is, right? 
So whoever is working already on Odessa projects, you can go through the existing code or your software and take an example of one section and see how that is being mapped in memory map.h file and corresponding linker file. Right? You can go one step ahead and check the variable and take any variable, say for example, here read status. So similar to that, you can take any variable and check that in the linker file capture the range right uh, uh, to which memory location it is assigned already supposed to be pointed to and serve this variable in the dart map file of the project and check that if that variable is really pointing to that uh, location which is used in the linker file right so i hope uh, this session is useful for you all if you have any doubts or if you have any clarifications please leave them in the comments so I, uh, until I come up with next.